there's your trophy right there. Jamie McMurray standing in front of it right now. That trophy's heavy, isn't it? It, it really is. You know, you watch videos of Dale Earnhardt just like, yeah. Posting that thing <laughs> up like nothing. And then I went to grab it, and they were like, hey, this thing's going to be heavy. And I tried to lift it up. I was like, they were right. They weren't lying yeah. to me. But it's a nice trophy to hold, isn't I, it? I did not mind doing it. I'd happily hold that thing up again. Exactly right. Uh, what are the memories coming back? I mean, you know, so many fond memories, obviously. We just heard an interview with you and Vince Cellini a moment ago. But what are the memories coming back one year later now? You know, it, it's so cool to come back here and kind of go through the same steps again and just remember what my mindset was a year ago. Uh, I had no idea at this point last year that we'd win the race and that, right. um, you know, all the stuff would come after it. So I parked in the same motorhome spot, trying to do everything <laughs> exactly the same today. I parked in the 500 winner spot in the July race, and we got crashed on lap two. So I felt like, yeah. you know, we need to move away from that and go back to everything how it was and uh, just enjoy it. You know, I think it's so cool to be able to enjoy being called the winner of last year's race and just uh, see how excited everybody was then and just live yeah. it up again. Well, who got your 500 winner spot then? Did you just give it up to whoever wanted it? I guess so. Somebody else is hanging <laughs> out over there. So to be a part of that history, you know, not just to know the history, but now I feel like we've become a part of their history, and I think it's so cool that they've just kind of taken me under their wing and made me kind of part of their family. So what is the plan for 2012 for you? What, exactly what will we see you in this year and how often? Uh, hopefully as often as possible is <laughs> yeah, what we're working right, on. Yeah. But uh, the Nationwide Series right now, we're going to run probably the first three races, see how okay. we're doing in the points and all that, and then just try to keep putting things together with sponsorship. On the Cup Series, it's going to be a, a really similar schedule to what we did last year. It's about 14 races right now. Obviously, if we win races, they'll add more just like last year. So uh, that's my goal to win and keep racing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, so what would, on that note, be realistic expectations for you? What would make you happy? Is this a, is this a team that can win at a Charlotte or, or other different racetracks like that? It's always tough when you're part-time because it's hard to keep momentum Correct. flowing and, and all that stuff. But we showed speed last year. Charlotte, we were running like six. We ran out of fuel. I mean, I really feel yeah. like we had a race-winning car there. It's not often you get a car that fast, but I think that we can do it. Donnie Wingo does a great job uh, as a crew chief. Uh, the Wood Brothers give me awesome equipment. You know, they don't cut any corners being a part-time team. So I think we got a shot at definitely uh, stirring up some stuff this year, maybe being a top-five contender a few races, maybe even win a couple. How important was it for you to establish that relationship with Jeff Gordon in the, in the duels to say, this guy trusts me? Did that gain you credibility, you think, with everybody else, or what did you think about that? Yeah, it does for sure, no matter who's working with you. If somebody shows that your car has speed, if they'll partner up with you, uh, obviously our car is fast by itself and qualifying, right. but when Jeff took that leap of faith and said, hey, you know, I'm locked in on the front row. I don't have to do anything here, but he actually worked with us until the last lap off of four when we all piled up and, right, and yeah. tore the right side off our car. Um, you know, that that was huge for him to do that. Um, and, and then also, you know, Bobby Labonte working with us on the last lap. Sure, I mean, yeah. Without him have you know seeing that everybody else had that faith in me uh, I don't know if he would have but he did and, and he worked with us so awesome to push us to the win there cool man well the best of luck this Thank year we hope that you have a, a lot of fun it's always good to see you around the racetrack who knows maybe back-to-back -back 500s right man that's a lot of pressure but I think <laughs> we can do it this year you can work on lifting the trophy though you, you'll <laughs> I, be all right I've been practicing right? at home you know I put Gatorade on it to make it slippery <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> it's a little things you don't think about that's, Gatorade that's right. to make it slippery right that's right